Hello and welcome back to Reporter's File. I'm Saeed Puriza and these are the headlines for this week's program. Gaza's sailing fans break down the Israeli sea blockade. The lack of jobs in a country ravaged by an endless war. Could the decades-long ruling coalition in Malaysia lose power? And robots competing for their makers at a robotics competition in Tunisia. Tuni Robots is an event organized by engineering schools in Tunisia. It's an event where teams of student researchers gather and bring their creations, their robots that they made from scratch, to compete with one another. For the National Day of Robotics, 15 Tunisian universities and research institutes have organized the third edition of Tuni Robots 2012. The event was held at the Higher Institute of Applied Sciences and Technologies of Tunis. Tuni Robots 2012 is the third edition of the National Robotics Day. It gathers universities and research institutes from the whole country. The event started with a presentation of more than 40 robots of different characteristics and strange capacities. Tunisian student researcher Hossein Medin Leswet surprised the public with an android based robot capable of circulating in hostile environments and complex geographies. The robot independently assures surveillance missions. It can also protect lives by detecting gas leaks and informing human beings about the potential risks. This intelligent robot can analyze its environment and adapt to any level of difficulty. It can also measure the quantity of gas in the air and send emails or text messages to warn people about unusual levels. The surprise of Tuni Robots 2012 is the robot-guided missile. The inventor assumes that he has recently traveled to Europe to show that Tunisians do not only create but also compete with the West because they are proud of their identity, which is the source of the unlimited capacities. I've recently participated to a big event in Europe. I have my robot, my missile, and the national flag to prove the West that we've got skills in Tunisia and that we can build anything. Many engineering students were inspired by the robot-guided missile project, which proves that the new generation of Muslim youth can go far in scientific research, despite the lack of means. I foresee a bright future for my colleague because he has built a robot-guided missile with his intelligence and without resources. After the presentation of the robots, the teams met at the auditorium for the first part of the competition. On the Treasure Island conquest, robots have to collect golden objects in 90 seconds. Hundreds of thousands have watched the Treasure Island conquest online, but the luckiest were at the venue to enjoy the unusual atmosphere and share the joy of the winners, whose robot collected three gold billions. The team has dedicated their victory to the Palestinian people. The work that we did for this robot to all the people in Palestine that are uh, struggling, struggling in uh, the colony of Israel people. So uh, for once, Palestine wins this time. In the second part of the competition, the robots struggle to dominate the adversaries. It's a robot way to show, show that we can also build robots that are able to, to fight with each other. The Somo Conquest is a demonstration of power in artificial intelligence. The powerful robots were not the impressive ones. Therefore, even the losers left the competition with a smile and optimistic tone. Inshallah we will participate to future competitions and we will win because we don't surrender. According to Zakaria Hatira, co-presenter of Tuni Robots, the event has succeeded in breaking the norms and the cliches which relegate the youth of the Muslim world to the lowest levels of intelligence and creativity. We are breaking the cliché that says we are just consuming and not building our things and the proof is Tuni Robots. We are really starting to produce and create and not consume anymore. So, yeah, we're breaking it. We're getting over it. Trini Roberts has offered school children the opportunity to participate and has motivated the smartest to follow the steps of their elders. The youngest participant addressed a message full of hope and optimism about the future of research in the Muslim world. I'll build robots when I'll grow up.
Observers say the National Day of Robotics succeeds in bringing Tunisian researchers together in order to share their common visions and to build a better future for the Muslim world and humanity. The third edition of Tunisian Robots has ended in Tunisia, but the participants are determined to come back next year with more ideas and determination. Adnan Shaweshi, Press TV, Tunis. And that's going to do it for this week's program. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to drop us a line and tell us what you think of our program. Our email address is reportersfile at presstv.ir. Until we meet again, goodbye.